Hey, it's Angela with Food Storage and Survival.com, and today we're at the Colonial Heritage Festival. And we're going to check up on some of those food preservation projects from the 18th century that we've been showing on the blog. And so let's, we'll come up close and look at what we have going on. All right, I'm right in on this. So these are the pickled eggs that we did, and they turned out uh, nice and purpley red from that cochineal. Uh, pickled onions, and they look fabulous. Now the pickled eggs, we've checked up with uh, health safety people, and they're not supposed to sit out on your counter for more than two hours. And these have been out for two days, so I've got a real good excuse not to eat them. So I'm not going to try one of those. <laughs> Our salted beans turned out uh, leathery, and they still look nice and green in the preserved in the salt. And salt pork. There's our salt pork. It's stiffened up, and again, this has been sitting out on my display table here. This is the third day that it's been sitting out of the cooler. Not going to be eating this. Um, traditionally, yes, you would still be able to eat it, but we're just not going to risk that. All right. Let's see. Next one. This was a project that I didn't show a video of, but it's uh, it's fresh strawberries and raisins that were packed in dry sugar and they've made a nice little juice and they're actually really tasty. We'll be eating these ones for sure. Our fruit that was packed in the heavy sugar syrup and those still look great. They never were sealed but I did keep them in my refrigerator. So still looking good. All right, next was the dried peaches, and those did take two and a half days in the dehydrator. And they turned out more like candied peaches. They're chewy and gummy, but they're really, really tasty. So I will probably be doing those again. Uh, let's see, hardtack, let's go that one next. This is ship's biscuit or hardtack, and I didn't show a video of this because I made it while I was on the phone with my mom and really, really easy to make. Just uh, flour, water, and a little bit of salt kneaded into a, a dough and then baked until it's dry, like crispy, hard dry. So those are there. I'll, I'll, I can put a video together on that some other time, but really simple to make. Uh, up on top here, which one? Dried beans. Oh, let's do the dried beans real quick. <laughs> dried beans, uh, the ones, the, the leather britches that I hung up and dried and they are dry and they I don't know they lose color uh, like now now I would blanch beans before I dried them and they don't lose that much color but uh, they are kind of losing color already up top we have the portable soup and the one with the pork with the bone in it turned out really nice leathery dry and you're able to pack that up in your Ooh, cannon time. Pack that up. This is such a great event. Great event. Pack that up in your little um, haversack and take it out hunting with you. Add it to hot water and make soup again. And here's some jerky dried meat that I didn't show how to make, but we have that here too. And the pemmican that turned out nice and solid in a block. You can break a piece off here. And it crumbles. Fat and meat all packed in a block together. Okay, there's our food preservation projects we worked on. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section and I'll check back with you another time. Thanks for joining me. It's Angela, food storage and survival.com.